Greetings. Have you ever wondered how fast our solar system travels through space? It's a fascinating question that astronomers have been grappling with for centuries. In today's discussion, we'll delve into the concept of the solar system's speed, exploring how scientists measure our cosmic journey through the Milky Way galaxy and the orbital speeds of the individual planets within our stellar system. We'll uncover the ingenious methods astronomers use to make these calculations, and along the way, we might even discover some surprising facts about our solar system's motion. So buckle up and get ready to explore the fascinating world of celestial speeds. Celestial bodies exhibit several types of speeds. Orbital speed. This refers to how fast a celestial body travels around another object it's gravitationally bound to. The speed varies depending on the distance from the central object and the shape of the orbit, circular versus elliptical. For instance, Earth's average orbital speed around the Sun is roughly 29,800 meters per second, 67,000 miles per hour, but it moves slightly faster when closer to the Sun, perihelion. Solar System's Motion Our entire solar system travels through the Milky Way galaxy at about 220 km per second, 492,000 miles per hour. Rotation Speed this is how fast a celestial body spins on its axis. The Sun, for example, rotates roughly once every 27 days at its equator, but this speed varies with latitude. This difference happens because the Sun isn't a solid body like Earth. It's a giant ball of hot plasma, which allows different parts to rotate at slightly different speeds. The Sun's equator bulges slightly due to its rotation, and this bulge creates a faster spinning motion there compared to the higher latitudes. The speed of our solar system planets. Planets in our solar system orbit the Sun at varying speeds due to their distance and orbital paths. Here's a breakdown of their average orbital speeds. Mercury, the closest planet, zooms around the Sun at a whopping 47.87 kilometers per second, 107,082 miles per hour. Venus, the second fastest, travels at 35.02 kilometers per second, 78,337 miles per hour. Earth, our home planet cruises at an average speed of 29.78 kilometers per second, 66,615 miles per hour. Mars. The red planet orbits at 24.077 kilometers per second, 53,853 miles per hour. Jupiter. The gas giant moves at a slower 13.07 kilometers per second, 29,236 miles per hour due to its larger orbit. Saturn orbits at 9.69 kilometers per second, 21,675 miles per hour. Uranus, farther out, travels at 6.81 kilometers per second, 15,233 miles per hour. Neptune, the farthest planet, moves at 5.43 kilometers per second, 12,146 miles per hour.
Keep in mind these are average speeds, their orbital paths are elliptical, so they speed up when closer to the Sun and slow down when farther. The Sun's speed depends on what kind of motion we're considering, orbiting the Milky Way. Our Sun travels around the center of the Milky Way galaxy at a speed of about 220 kilometers per second, 492,000 miles per hour. This is a colossal speed, but due to the Milky Way's vast size, it takes the Sun roughly 230 million years to complete one full orbit. Rotation on its axis. The Sun also spins on its own axis, but this rotation speed varies depending on latitude. At its equator, the Sun rotates at a speed of roughly 660 km per hour, 410 miles per hour, taking about 27 days to complete a full rotation. This rotation is slower compared to the speed of a planet like Earth, because the Sun is a giant ball of gas, and not a solid body. Scientists measure the speed of the solar system in two main ways depending on what kind of motion they're interested in. Speed through the Milky Way Galaxy To determine the speed of our solar system as it travels around the Milky Way Galaxy, scientists rely on the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation CMB. This faint echo of the Big Bang permeates the universe from all directions. By measuring the minuscule shifts in the CMB's wavelength, astronomers can detect a Doppler effect. Similar to how a fire truck siren sounds higher pitched when approaching, and lower pitched when moving away, the CMB will show a slight shift depending on our motion relative to it. By analyzing this shift, scientists can calculate the solar system's velocity relative to the CMB, which is currently estimated to be around 220 km per second, 492,000 miles per hour. Difficulty measuring internal speed Unfortunately, there's no straightforward way to directly measure the internal speed of the solar system itself, meaning the speed of the planets relative to each other. This is because they are all, essentially moving together, within the same gravitational system around the Sun. However, scientists can calculate the orbital speeds of each planet around the Sun. They achieve this by combining several methods. Kepler's Laws of Planetary Motion These laws relate the orbital period, time taken to complete one orbit of a planet to its average distance from the Sun. Radar Measurements by bouncing radio waves off planets and measuring the time it takes for the signal to return, astronomers can calculate the distance with high accuracy. Observing the movement of stars By precisely tracking the apparent motion of nearby stars relative to a background of more distant stars, astronomers can measure the Earth's wobble and use this information to infer its orbital speed. Using these techniques, scientists can determine the speed of each planet relative to the Sun, giving us a detailed picture of how the solar system navigates within the Milky Way. In conclusion, the concept of speed for our solar system has two meanings. Astronomers use the cosmic microwave background radiation to measure our entire solar system's hurtling pace through the Milky Way galaxy, which is a staggering 220 km per second. However, since the planets are all moving within the same system, there's no direct way to measure their speed relative to each other. Thankfully, by applying Kepler's laws, radar measurements, and stellar observations, scientists can calculate the orbital speeds of each planet around the Sun, giving us a comprehensive understanding of our solar system's internal motion.
I hope you found this article helpful. Subscribe for more content like this and leave a comment to share your thoughts.